Welcome to the Statistic in ED YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about why and how to include vignettes in your own R package. So first about the why. Why does it make sense to have vignettes in your R package? Let's say um, you're not very experienced in R, you're just starting out and you sit at lunch break and a colleague tells you about the great dplyr package. Um, you've probably used help files before in R, looking up help for specific functions, but now if you learn a new about a new package, maybe it's a bit tough to start with function documentation because functions are very specific and maybe your first goal would be to get a more general overview of a package. So you can use this code help package equals and the name of the package and you get to this overview page and you see a lot of functions in alphabetical order but there's also a section here right at the top below description. There's a link to user guides, package vignettes and other documentation. This can be very useful. Let's click on it and you see that the dplyr package is very well documented. It's got several vignettes. So if we were new to dplyr, we would um, choose this introduction to dplyr vignette and click on it. And you see we get a document that contains plain text and gives a gentle introduction to dplyr like um, which kinds of problems does it want to solve? What was the motivation behind creating the package and so on? And then you see it's very convenient. It contains um, a mixture of plain text and R code and you also get the results of the R code. So you don't need to run any code in your console, but you can just look at this and see what the code does. And then there's an introduction to the main functions, um, the key functions in dplyr. And again, you get the code like here for the filter function and you see exactly what the code does. Um, this is a great advantage compared to function documentation. There you find examples which are also helpful, but you don't see the result of the code in the um, function documentation in R. You would have to run the code yourself um, and then maybe the code creates objects in your global environment that you need to clean up later on and it's more of a hurdle to be forced to execute the code to see what it does. Whereas here in a vignette um, you see you can just skim over and you see the results and you don't have to run any code. Um, so let's not be too tidyverse focused. We can also look at the data table package, which does similar things as um, dplyr. Um, and is very popular because it's so blazingly fast, especially for huge data. And this is another great example for a well documented package. It's also got um, user guides, package vignettes and other documentation. And again, we find a vignette introduction to data table plus a number of other vignettes that go into more details. So again, here we could look at the vignette and again, we see R code and we see the results of the R code. So we can do this for our own package too. I have a small example package. I talked about this in a previous video, but the functions or well, the one function that we have in here and the data is not so important now. It can work for any package, so you don't need to watch the previous videos to follow along. Um, the package is called in-house calc and it's meant to calculate um, a customer score. Um, so let's look at what the help page looks like at the moment. Help package equals in-house calc. And we get this overview page. It's just got one function and one data set. So it's a very simple package, but there are no vignettes yet. So how can we change that? Vignettes are markdown documents. So we could start out with a markdown document, but it's a little bit tricky that because package vignettes are different to standard markdown documents and we can um, take the easy way and use the great use this package. Um, I'm loading the DevTools package. You see that in the console. And oh, it was loaded before just to show you um, I start a new R session so that the package is not loaded. Library DevTools and you see when I load it for the first time, I get this message that the use this package is also loaded alongside DevTools. And use this has a number of great functions that help us write R packages and make our life easier. And we can use the use underscore vignette function here to set up our vignette. So the name must be um, legitimate code like like a variable name for example so it must not contain blanks i can call it intro to in-house calc but i can also provide a title that is more human readable introduction to 
in house calc and this is allowed to have blank spaces so we can set up the vignette in this way and you see use r does a couple of things in the background um, it creates a subfolder vignettes it also creates a git ignore file that we don't need to worry too much about and it sets up a basic vignette that you see here intro to in-house calc so it shows here in the source pane we can look at the files pane and you see that we have this vignette subfolder that was not there before and it contains this basic markdown document if you haven't worked with markdown documents before there's a lot of resources on the web and if you want to have a quick start you can just go to file new file or markdown and maybe to start out just choose the default plain html format click on ok and you get a skeleton for a typical markdown document with some explanations how it works um, like you can format headers you can write plain text and you can insert our code chunks that must be marked like this um, so that's how to get started but this is not meant to be a general introduction to markdown so here we have our markdown file for our vignette and the yaml header is a little bit different than in standard markdown it's got this special it's got the special output type vignette and this code maybe would be a little bit hard to write um, from scratch but we don't have to do that we can use the use vignette function from use this which sets this up for us and then we just need to fill out um, the vignette and just write our text here i prepared something for the sake of brevity of this video so a little text and a little r code example so i just copy that over that file lives outside the package i copy that over to the vignette and you see there's a little plain text this is the introduction to my awesome package so you could write a better text here of course we use it to calculate customer scores like this and then we have a little r code example it shows the data set before and after we calculate the customer score using our um, in-house calc function okay so this is what the vignette looks like i save this file and now the question is how do we actually get that vignette into our package so uh, when i look at this help page the vignette is not there yet the first thought could be to build the package and use install and restart so i can do that it's a small package this is a very fast process now we get a new r session it loads the package again and i can um, look at the help page again help package equals in-house calc and it reloads this overview page but the vignette is not there and this could um, surprise us a little bit but it's a design choice a conscious design choice because building vignettes may take quite some time um, just imagine you have some machine learning code there or anything else time consuming so if you work on your package and you have many iterations and you always inst or often install your package you would always have to wait for quite some time until the vignettes are built so by default this install and restart option does not build vignettes so how do we get the vignettes in our package um, there are several options one is if we had the package on git or github or a similar service uh, we could install from there so let's just look at the function documentation help install github so this is a function that lives in the remotes package but it's re um, imported by devtools um, so we can look at the help file doesn't matter which one we choose devtools or remotes um, and it's got several similar functions for different locations where the package might live install biog install bitbucket install cran install git install github and so on and all these functions have this parameter build vignettes which by default is set to false to save us time when we actually install the package but of course we can override this parameter and set build vignettes to true and then we will get the vignettes but now for the sake of simplicity i did not host this package on on git or github or a similar service it just lives locally on my machine so i show you a, a second option how to actually get the vignettes in the package and this is to build a source package um, so it's not a binary package but we use build source package and you see it's quite fast here because it's a small package and it says something about vignettes creating vignettes um, here and this is probably the longest part 2.4 seconds even for such a simple vignette and now we get 
a source package um, that we can install. First of all, before I can install it, I must um, unload the package, otherwise I'd get an error message if I try to reinstall it when it's loaded, so I do that. So you see in the console the package is um, detached and unloaded, and now I can go to install. And rather than the default repository CRAN, I change that to package archive file. And now I can browse and look for the file location of this package. It's a tar file here, um, so it's all in one file, um, bundled in a tar file and uh, with gzip compression. So I select this in-house calc package and I install it. And you see it says something about installing vignettes. It was quite a fast process here, installing it from source, and now we can go to this help page again and look at this help package equals in-house calc and now below the link to the description we get this link user guides package vignettes and other documentation i can click on this and it gives me the introduction to in-house calc vignette um, and let's look at it and we have the same look and feel as we had in the dplyr and data table packages of course it's not as sophisticated it's a very simple example but you get the idea you could add a lot more text and more R code here to showcase your package. Here we just get a simple STR on the data set. It's got five customer qualities, and then we calculate the customer score using the function that this package offers in-house calc. And then we look at the structure of the data set again, and then the customer score is included. So we showed a very simple example how to use the package and new users of the package don't have to run any code to be able to follow what is happening here. They don't have to execute the code, they can just read it from the vignette. Well, that was it basically for today. I hope you found that useful. All the best for your own R projects, for your own packages that you hopefully create. I think it's a very powerful tool in your toolbox to create your own packages and it's fun um, doing good co documentation for your packages. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. All the best, see you next time. Ciao.